disturbing trend is on the rise across the Bay Area. Tampa police say people are breaking into homes and stealing expensive pool equipment, costing thousands of dollars. And in some cases, the thefts are caught on camera. 8 Andrew Sides, Lenny Supal, live in the Tampa News Center with more on that story. Hi, Lenny. Good evening, Josh. Well, Tampa police say they've noticed this unusual trend reaching new heights. Crooks ripping large pieces of pool equipment from homes, then posing as installers and selling the entire unit to homeowners. And tonight we're learning about the most important thing you need to know to keep this from happening to you. A brazen move and a focal point of an investigation. The Tampa Police Department zeroing in on this suspect seen marching across the yard, making their way behind this home, then reappearing with another suspect, rolling away with this heat pump, and it's not the only thing they're after. Filters and heaters, uh, some of the equipment, they're, you know, they're large. They look like big, uh, you know, condensers from the outside, like an air conditioning unit. Some are like $5,000. Sergeant Scott Savitt noticing an alarming trend since January. Thieves nabbing pricey pool equipment as families prepare for the summer. It's just the worst feeling. You know, you come home and your property's missing and you feel violated. You're never comfortable with theft uh, in the neighborhood. Neighbors along West Palmyra Avenue unsettled, staying vigilant about safety. We've got plenty of security and uh, with cameras and lights. Camera is an important tool to keep crimes like this from happening. Tonight, detectives want the community to know this. The most important thing for the community to know is if you see something suspicious in your neighborhood, call it in. And Tampa police say they've identified persons of interest and believe the same suspects are committing these crimes. They usually case a home one or two days in advance. Now, when it comes to staying safe, write down the serial number of your equipment. Make sure the installer is licensed, and if they don't pull a permit, it's a red flag. In the newsroom, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side.